What is going on? Local Joe here. I was about to call you. I was about to say beautiful people. Because I've seen somebody use that. But. Local Joe here. Oh, we're in Germany. Wow. You're in for a treat. But welcome back to LCW Chaos. And we're kicking things off with the first ever local rumble winner local battle royale whatever you want to call it the winner he's gonna talk right now yes Johnny Black survived 29 other men in the local rumble and now is gonna main event local mania to face either the mayhem world champ or the chaos world champ or if he chooses to move to the red brand and challenge for the mayhem title So we'll see what he has to say right now. You know, he could challenge Big Amish. Or if Anthony's still champion by Local Mania, challenge him. But challenging Anthony would force him to leave his tag team partner over here in Chaos. So I'm not sure if he wants that. See what he has to say. You know it's not like me to want to bring the crowd down. I'm all about the positive or being positive. But there are some things that have to be said. And it's time for me to say them. There used to be a thing called respect. Guys coming to the ladder knew how to handle themselves. Nowadays, there's no such thing as respect. It's just a bunch of chumps trying to be f or trying to get famous. It's actually true. So let's cut to the chase, all right? That's what this is all about. I've bled for this business and I'm gladly do it again. It is time for a new champion, and that champion is me. I'll make it very plain, I'll make it very plain because I know that big words tend to hurt this guy's tiny little brain. I'm getting that title match, and I'm getting it right now. Got it? Get ready to surrender that gold buddy. After everything I've given to this business, everything I've earned, fought, and sweat for, I still have to deal with wannabes who want to who want to try and take my spot. Well, to so be it. I can deal with them or deal with it. And that is the winner of the local rumble, who will be challenging either. Big Amish for the Chaos World title or Anthony Walker for the Mayhem title. And speaking of champions, we got the current U.S. champ, Psycho Clown, one-on-one -on -one with the former U.S. champ, Joseph Cruz. This should be one hell of a match right here.
Later on, you'll see two teams, two new teams, possibly forming. Where it's the team of Sears and Mass Terror going up against the Powers of Pain being represented by Alan and COD. And then in the females tag team division, you're going to see Lady J teaming up with the debuting Ashley Rose Mendez. And those two will be facing the former tag champs, the DeWinter Twins. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, he is the former LCW United States champ, Joseph Cruz. Joseph Cruz, who's been on a losing streak since losing that U.S. title about a month ago. Well, not a month ago. Probably like two months ago. Because he won the title on the first episode of LCW. Uh, the first episode of the new season of Chaos. Then lost it at the first pay-per-view. So that was like two months ago, maybe. And his opponent from Tijuana, Mexico. He is the United States champion. Psycho Clown. Also representing Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal has all the gold right now. Well, if they get one more, one more member, then they get the world title. Then they'll have all the gold. Maybe get a female member. Maybe like three more female members. Or four. Yeah, because two could get the women's U.S. title and the women's world title. And then the other two could get the women tag titles. I don't know. You, you never know. You might see a female Twisted Metal Squad show up eventually. There have been rumors in the back saying that Lady J might be forming the female Wolfpack Mafia very soon. Can Ashley Rose Mendez be one of those members? Snap suplex by Psycho Clown. Michinoku Driver by Psycho Clown. And... Oh, Gut Buster. Psycho Clown showing Joseph Cruz why he is the U.S. champ. And if jo Joseph Cruz could get a win here, he'd definitely be in line for a future U.S. title shot. Beautiful combination. Looking for a back suplex onto the apron, the hardest part of the apron. And missing with the flying clothesline. And bouncing his head off the steel post. Psycho Clown looking to do some damage on the outside. Bouncing him off the steel railing. And now Joseph Cruz looking to return to favor. Beautiful arm drag takedown by Joseph Cruz. 
And now ring around to Rosie. And now Psycho Clown tossing Joseph Cruz t towards the steel steps. What up, Benjamin? How's it going, buddy? Oh, man, Psycho Clown bouncing Joseph Cruz's head off the... S I was about to say steel, but the concrete. Oh, beautiful move by Psycho Clown. And he's definitely dealing some damage to Joseph Cruz and the outside. Glad you could stop by, Benjamin. Watch some LCW action. I do my LCW wrestling shows every Friday and Mondays. Of course, Fridays I do Chaos, and on Mondays I do Mayhem. And then during the rest of the week, I'll stream Call of Duty, Fortnite, Paladins, whatever. Joseph Cruz looking to get his U.S. title back. And with the win over Psycho Clown, we'll get him one step closer. Bouncing his head off the top turnbuckle. And now Psycho Clown placing him on that top turnbuckle. And drilling his head into the mat. Roster slots full. I'm not sure. I got to check. I mean, I do have a, a lot of people on the roster. There's the Psycho Cutter. But yeah, if you have a character and you have this on PS4, upload them using hashtag LCW and I'll download him. Or if he's on Xbox, then send me the formula on either my Discord or DM me on Twitter. And I'll happily create them for you. Ooh, Joseph Cruz taking it to the champ right now. I have a couple of brothers. Well, I am going to delete some characters, so I could definitely make room for them. Going to delete some of the characters that aren't being used right now. I do need more, more tag teams. Oh, going for that psycho kick. Joseph Cruz saw it coming, though. And now Joseph Cruz with the backbreaker. What up, OJJ? And now going for the armbar. Looking to make him tap out. Psycho Clown fighting out of it. Multiple rights. The Bennett brothers, their tag team specialists, Johnny and Davy Bennett. Sweet. Oh, look at this move. Is that going to be it? Two, three. Oh, so close. I was pulling for Joseph Cruz right there. I want him to get another shot at that U.S. title. I mean, win or lose, he'll definitely be in the number one contenders match for sure. If he doesn't win. And now Joseph Cruz working the arm, the same arm he put that 
that arm bar on earlier. Oh, backbreaker to Joseph Cruz. Uploading and creating. Nice. Yeah, just use the hashtag LCW and I will download them after the show. And Psycho Clown defeats Joseph Cruz with the Psycho Cutter. And the sh losing streak of Joseph Cruz continues. Boo indeed. Joseph Cruz has nothing to be disappointed about. Uh, he fought all the way to the end. Here we go. The possibly Act Mafia form right here. Depends if they win. If they do good, the new female Wolfpack Mafia might be formed. We got the DeWinter Twins, former longest reigning women tag team champs, going up against Lady J and the debuting Ashley Rose Mendez. Bum bum ba da 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 Bum bum ba da 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 The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making their way to the ring first from Toronto, Canada. Amber and Amanda, the De Winter Twins. If you missed the opening segment of the show when Johnny Black, the win the winner of the local rumble last Friday, pretty much sent the message to both not only the Chaos World Champ, but the Mayhem World Champ as well. He pretty much said there's a new champion. And it's going to be Johnny Black when that day comes at Local Mania. And their opponents first from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Representing the Wolfpack Mafia, Lady J.
Now we're talking. Calm down, Creeper. <laughs> I know, right? He's freaking screaming, yelling, and then now we're talking. Let's see if the Creepers go wild for the debuting. Ashley Rose Mendez. The EST of LCW. Making her LCW debut. Ashley Rose Mendez. Amanda DeWinter starting things off. Lady J starting things off. Lock up middle of the ring. And now Lady J getting the upper hand, working on that arm. I didn't make her. I made her for somebody. DM me on freaking on Discord. Laid it all down. Like what to put on her, her height, what clothes, what hairstyle. It's like, it's all you gotta do. Just send me a message like that and I'll create your character. Lady J taking a couple knees right to the chest. And the ref's in the way. Can you move, ref? Nobody wants to see your ass. And now Amber DeWinter is going to the top rope. And hits her with double stomps. And now... M I was, about to say, I was about to say Amanda. Amber DeWinters with some ground and pound. Nice counter by Lady J. Head scissors takedown, taking a page out of Coley Masters' book. Oh, she was going for that combination. But Lady J saw it coming this time. And now it's going for the Tornado Snap Suplex. Oh, big boot by Lady J. And now we're going to get our first look at Ashley Rose Mendez. Oh, beautiful drop kick. And it looks like Amanda wants a piece of Ashley. And hits her with a running knee strike. And, oh, her knee hitting hard on the side of the face. Nice counter by Ashley. Hits her with the clothesline. 
and tags in Lady J. And now Lady J with the Irish whip. Places her on that top turnbuckle. Possibly looking for a superplex or a double underhook suplex. Woo! Oh man, double underhook superplex. But Amanda playing possum. Big right hand by Amanda. And then connecting with that roundhouse kick. And now Ashley with the face plant. Gets a two count. to see how Ashley can handle herself with Lady J recovering on the outside. And now the Irish whip. And the 619. Oh, knee right to the gut. Then the roundhouse kick dropping Ashley. And now ground and pound. Amber De Winters with the Irish whip. And another Irish whip to the corner. Missing with the elbow. Multiple elbow shots to the gut. Breaking free of Ashley's grip. And nice counter by Ashley. And smartly rolls her back into the ring. And there's that face plant. Is that going to get her the win? And nice snapmare takedown. And hooks and ladders. Great work by Ashley. And now Lady J looking to finish off Amber. And look at those knee strikes. Returning the favor with the knees. Taking a page out of her man's book with these heart attack elbows. One, two, whoo! And a leg drop. Beautiful move by Lady J. And now Lady J setting her up, possibly for the whippersnapper. There 
it is. And she's far from the corner. But somehow Amber kicks out. And a spine buster. Lady J keeping Amber away from her corner. And connects with a side slam. And then double stomps. Oh, elbow right to the face. And Lady J fighting out of it. And connects with the Death Valley driver. Goes straight for the pin. Whew. Lady J tossing Amber to the outside. Looking to do more damage out there. But Amber, Amber wants to get this match back into the ring. Oh man, and using both their powers to just shove Lady J into the corner. And connects with Snake Eyes. Lady J with the power bomb. Lady J placing Amanda DeWinters on that top turnbuckle. But Amanda with a nice counter, knee right to the face. Oh, European uppercut, elbow. And then the 619. What a combination. But Lady J bringing Amanda back into the ring. Punch right to the gut and another one. And now Lady J tagging in Ashley. Great teamwork right there. And now Ashley going for the torture rack. Oh man. Woo. I thought she was going to go for a finisher right there. The KOD. Oh, beautiful splash. And now Ashley setting her up. But Amanda right there. With a nice counter into a drop kick. And now tags in Amber De Winters. Gut-wrench suplex. And now Amber setting her up. Bro to sleep. German suplex. Is that going to be it? Lady J right there to break it up. And Amanda just getting rid of Lady J.
Nice counter by Amber, or by Ashley. A lot of A names right here in this match. Got Amanda, Amber, and Ashley. Nice counter by Ashley. And showing off her strength, doing squats while holding her into a suplex position. And Lady J gets the hot tag. Hits her with the running elbow. Lady J should have capitalized on that instead of taunting. And the Hurricanrana. She got countered for a second there. And now deadlift into a corkscrew DDT. We've seen Mayhem Superstar Sid Kitten use that move a lot. Big boot by Lady J. Follows that up with a back suplex. It's been a great tag match. There's the side slam. Is that going to be it? And Amber barely kicks out. Lady J placing Amber on that top turnbuckle. Lady J going for the super Back suplex. Oh, the running knee strike did not connect perfectly. You know, Lady J just took it like a champ. Now going for the side slam again. And now playing possum. Oh man. And now Amber setting her up for that headstand. Moonsault. And Ashley right there to break up the pinfall. Hey, how that small package takes it out of the characters. I know. Tags in Ashley. Look at this teamwork. Double back body drop. Now setting her up for the flapjack. Two. 
and Amber kicks out. And oh, Rhoda sleep. Big right hand. And Ashley just turned into the fucking Hulk. And now going for the torture rack again. Is she gonna tap out here? And Am Amanda breaking up the submission right there. And now tags in Lady J. Double back body drop again. Goes straight for the pin. And now tags in Amanda. Here it is, the De Winter combination. And hey, look at those rights and lefts. And a kick right to the gut. And another one. Then the clothesline. Missing with the cutter. Irish whips in the corner. And now multiple kicks. Then follows it up with the leg drop. Goes with a quick pin, ref. It's a two count. Amanda kicking out before her sister could break up the pinfall. Oh, and then a cheap shot to Ashley. And this is their chance right here while Ashley is down and out. European upcut elbow. And then six one nine. Now another Irish whip, this time towards her corner, tags in her sister. Here it comes. The De Winters combination. There's the 619 again. And a big right hand by Lady J. Then a kick from out of nowhere by Amber. And I don't know why she's going for an arm bar out there. She had her in an arm bar and a leg bar. And Lady J smartly rolling her back into the ring. And snap suplex. Can Lady J finish her off right here? And another cheap shot to Ashley. Let's see if Lady J gets her back into the ring.
And bouncing her off the steel post. Can Amber get her back into the ring? Nope, she just wants to toss her around the ring. Lady J catching her breath before going back out. What a left hook right to the gut. Then look at that MMA style takedown. Palm strikes. And another left hook. Then a roundhouse kick. And another MMA takedown. So can you toss each other into the ring? Hits her with the running elbow. Then the kick from out of nowhere. Then the running knee strike. Then bouncing her off the steel post. And does it again. It's like you've done your damage. Now get her back into the ring and pin her. Oh my god. Oh, sit down, power bomb onto the concrete. Then the Pele kick, dropping Lady J. straight gut wrench suplexes right onto the concrete God, she had her chance to right there just toss her into the ring and pin her but instead she does that combination And again, could have tossed her into the ring, but into the steel steps. I swear that those steel steps are like magnets. It's like there's been a few times where they would be aiming for the ring, but the person that they toss ends up just taking one like step towards the steel steps and boom, they hit them. Finally, we get back into the ring. These two have done a number, a number on each other. Then the leg drop again. This might do it. Oh my god, how did she kick out of that? Oh, there's that big boot in the corner. And now looking for that drop kick. And now tags in Amanda. 
Lady J needs to make a tag and fast. And Amber tagging herself back in. That might have been a mistake. As she's taken a lot of damage. Oh, big right hand. And now Amber setting her up for Spanish Fly. That's all she wanted to do. And now she tags in Amanda. Nice counter, Lady J with the high knee lift. Can she tag in her partner? And she does. And now she's got her Connects with the glam slam. Then the drop kick. And now setting her up for the kiss of death. The KOD. Elbow right to the back of the head. And now working on the arm. And now Amber getting the hot tag. Gets with double, or connects with double stomps. Well, this is their chance right here for Lady J and Ashley. Two on one opportunity with Amanda on the outside recovering. But somehow Amber has rejuvenated all her energy. Gets up with the scoop slam. And now Amber and Lady J going at it again. doesn't want any any piece of Lady J sunset flip beautiful move by Lady J and Amber breaking it up And now going for the heart attack elbows. Hopefully this will finish her off. Kicks right to the chest and then missing with the drop kick. Oh, what a move! I don't even know what to call that. I swear the AIs in this game are so stupid. It's like they had the opportunity to pin after doing a finisher then they pick them up instead and then what's the first thing that happens they get counted and there's that pump handle rock bottom like move and Ashley breaking it up, and then that running knee strike taking out Ashley. And 
know there's some frustration stops right there. And those are unnecessary tauntings. <laughs> See what I mean? Instead of finishing her off, she does those taunts, picks her up, and then gets countered. And now the De Winter combo with Ashley on the ground. Doesn't go for the pin. Counter. There it is. <laughs> Saw it coming from a mile away. Unnecessary taunting. And now possibly going for that double underhook superplex. This match should have ended a long time ago. Oh, look at that. Freshly squeezed cutter. Could have went for the pin, but picks her back up and counter. And Ashley or Amanda not ready to get back into the ring. Hits her with a Pele kick. And the double, the low blow. Yo, Angel Wings, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the pack. How's it going, man? And double back body drop. Let's see if Ashley can finish this match off. She's got her up. And down with the face plant. Goes straight for the pin. going great glad to hear this is only the second match of the show and it's literally gone like 40 minutes <laughs> it's the second match and we're already an hour in to the stream that's how long this match has been going It's like, I'll give them five more minutes and if they don't finish it, I'm just gonna simulate this fucking match. Because this is ridiculous. It's like getting countered after countered, doing their finisher and then picking them back up. And there's the Death Valley Driver, now Pinner. God damn it! That should have been it right there. How is she kicking out? She's taking so much damage. Oh, big elbow. And now, pump handle rock bottom. Then somehow Lady J popped up and got her with the Irish whip. I mean, it's been a good match, but it should have been. It should have ended like. 30 minutes ago. <laughs> and Lady J tossing her back into the ring. Thank God. If they would have stayed out there for like five minutes, I would have ended this match. Double DQ. <laughs> Now Lady J with the side slam and she's close to her corner 
This is perfect. Then <laughs> somehow Amanda kicks out. And there's the sucker punch. I think Amanda and Ashley have some beef because she's done that like three times already to her. Connects with the backstabber. Could this do it? Oh, nope, she pops up again. Statmare takedown. Knee right to the spine. Then the double stomps. And Ashley wants a piece of Amanda. Please somebody put a submission hole or something. And now looking to choke out Amanda. Unnecessary taunting leading to counters. Beautiful suplex by Ashley. Irish whips the corner. European upcut, elbow into the 619. Oh, big boot by Amanda. Nice takedown by Ashley. And now the glam slam. Oh, Lady J was gonna go for the whippersnapper. Is this gonna be it? And Ashley breaks it up and taking down Amber at the same time. This is their opportunity right here. But of course, when they don't freaking counter, like when the time is right, they don't counter. It's like this is the perfect time to counter and go for the win. But she'll counter right when Amber gets back to the corner. What the fuck was that? She did the gold dust move and then got sucker punched. Oh man. Oh, then the big cross body. That's what she gets. I know, right? Oh, look at those rights and lefts. Choo choo! Then the Bronco Buster. And Amber tagging herself in. Lady J waiting for her. Hits her with the Death Valley Driver. Could have went for the pin though. While she was in the corner recovering. Now she's going to do that, and she recovered.
double stomps. Big boot right to the face. Then the elbow right across the jaw. Unnecessary taunting leading to counters. Oh, there's a fisherman buster. And Amber somehow just pops right back up. Even though she's taken a lot of damage on the concrete. Pump handle bomb. Is that going to be it? Uh, Rep, she's right there under the ropes. I don't know what the hell just happened right there. I swear, everybody just scattered after that. It's like at this point, I don't even care who wins right now. Just end the match. <laughs> Big elbow right to the back of the head. It's like normally we would be on our fifth match by the time we hit the one hour mark. This is only the second match. There's the elbow. How is she kicking out at two, like, instantly? Well, she ain't kicking out of this. Punt kick. Finally. Literally like an hour later. Jesus Christ. By far the longest match ever. I'm gonna have to download the stream later and then edit this match just so it's like going super speed. <laughs> that kick had to end it. Yep. And here are your winners an hour later lady j and ashley rose mendez this is gonna be a fucking three hour show because of that fucking match Well, I'm just going to introduce these three, but skip their fucking entrances. Those kind of tag matches are just annoys the hell out of me. Just, just like, you yeah, had a chance to finish this a long time ago. 
But no, you had to make the AIs reverse everything. And act stupid. Dun, dun, ba, 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 ba. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring first, Evil Eyes. Moving on. And his opponent from Nashville, Tennessee. He is James the Bull Casey. And their opponent from parts unknown, he is the machine brute. And the brute right off the bat. They're gonna choke out freaking evil eyes. Then the uppercut to the gut. Then a beautiful drop kick by the big man. Goes for the quick pin. The same elimination style, so. You get pinned, it's over. This is a, the winner of this match will face Big Amish at the next pay-per-view in like two weeks from now. It's a quick pay-per-view. Actually, that pay-per-view might happen until 2K, or I was say 2K. Until 2021, because on the the week of Christmas, me and Anthony are gonna take a break until 2021. So probably on the that pay per view will happen and happen next year. And now the Brutes got him up in the torture rack. Oh, nice takedown by James Casey. The LCWOG. Evil Eyes looking for some toys under the ring. This is an Extreme Rules match, so anything goes. Goes for the quick pin. And James Casey, the former world champ, takes out Evil Eyes. I have no clue why he went after him. 
because he could have just pinned the brute because he's still down. Okay, he got hit with the left hook and then popped right back up. off evil eyes while James Casey is in the back recovering or not the back but on the outside no oh, uppercut and the brute has been dominant in this match so far and now tosses evil eyes to the outside evil eyes hitting hard on the concrete James Casey running around like a madman knee lift then a super kick and James Casey and evil eyes roll back into the ring and the side slam onto the onto the sledgehammer one two Woo! James Casey almost pulled that one off Oh, he was going for the running of the Bulls clothesline. Yeah, missed by a mile, Brute. <laughs> and now the Brute setting him up for the side slam. And I don't know what Evil Eyes was doing right there. He pins and goes right to the outside. Now here comes the Brute Slam. Go for the fucking pin. Could have pinned him a long time ago while Evil Eyes was holding the freaking ladder on the outside. Evil Eyes trying to choke out the big man. But the Brute showing off his strength. Spine Buster dropping evil eyes. And the bear hug, the bull hug. And he's got him in the chokehold. Is he gonna tap? And how did Evil Eyes recover that quick? Well, he's going to have to recover more after getting launched like this. <laughs> oh, and he's getting hit with the sledgehammer. Running of the Bulls clothesline. One, two, three, James Casey will now face Big Amish at the pay-per-view. And it's going to be like an all... Or it's going to be a... I don't even know what kind of fucking pay-per-view it's going to be. Maybe an all steel cage one. An elimination chamber match.
But either way, James Casey is getting a title shot. Here is your winner, James the Bull Casey. All right, we saw two weeks ago Crystal Danger pull off probably one of the biggest upsets. Well, actually, back-to-back -back weeks biggest upsets in LCW when she pinned Colleen Masters in a one-on-one -on -one match and then won the triple threat match to earn a number one contender spot for that women's title. So Crystal Danger is on fire right now. And Velvet coming off a win of her own so this should be a good match the following contest is scheduled for one fall making her way to the ring first she is one half of the chaos women tag team champions Crystal Danger. I just love how her entrance was super quick. And her opponent representing the Foxy Fruit Loops Velvet and the Creepers Lover. <laughs> And look at Crystal all cocky and shit. And a running knee right off the bat. Crystal looking to bring that momentum that she's that she's been in or been getting the past three weeks. Nice counter by Velvet. Velvet's got her up. And down with the flapjack. And the cutter connects. I hate that move. That forearm move they just like take the shot and then that's it they just counter after that it's so annoying <laughs> what's up foxy and velvet what the elbow and then the elbow again
And now Velvet with the beautiful jawbreaker dropping her. And now Velvet going for the neck breaker and connects. And now connecting with the DDT. And Crystal doesn't know what hit her. And now Velvet looking to bring her back into the ring. Connecting with the suplex. Velvet showing off her strength right there. Oh, look at the agility of Velvet with that beautiful head scissors takedown. And now the Irish whip tossing her to the outside. And now Velvet tossing her back into the ring. Very smart. Nice counter by Crystal. Crystal, who's the number one contender to the Chaos Women's Championship. Oh, beautiful standing moonsault. Can Velvet get back in this? Missing with the super kick. Then connecting with the roundhouse kick. And Crystal kicks out. She dodges Crystal's kick and then gets a kick of her own. And now going for the sharpshooter. Looking to make her tap out here. Oh, but look at the counter by Crystal. And now going for the GTS. The go to sleep. And now tossing Velvet to the outside. And now looking to return to favor by doing what she did to her earlier. Is that going to be it? Velvet kicks out. Foxy, you're going to be in action later on. You're going to be fighting Crystal's sister. Oh, nice counter. And a spine buster. Beautiful move. Velvet gets her first singles win in LCW, connecting with that spine buster. Let's see if Crystal will show Velvet some respect. Or has her success gotten to her head? And it has. No respect for Velvet. Big win for Velvet, though. Great start to her singles career. All right, finally made it halfway to the show. And it's already almost going to be two hours. <laughs> Foxy, make sure you tell Velvet that she won.
GG's indeed. Here we go. The Powers of Pain versus Sears and Mass Terror. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making their way to the ring first. From parts unknown, or actually from the dark place. Representing the powers of pain, COD, and Alan. And their opponents first making his way to the ring from the depths of hell, apparently. This is Sears. Okay, your entrance is freaking long, so just gonna move on now. And his tag team partner, he is the current Chaos Television Champion, The Mask Terror. Here we 
we go. COD and Sears starting things off. COD with that spinning neck breaker. Sears with a nice jawbreaker. Gets him right back up. Hits him with the knee. Then a German suplex. And now bouncing his head, Sears with a nice counter, COD with a counter of his own. And now COD setting him up for a super back suplex. And now COD looking to do the same thing to Mass Terror. If any of these two men could pin Mass Terror in this match, they'll definitely get a future television title shot. And look at these two big men. Mass Terror was the one that took the television title away from Allen. And look at that choke slam spine buster from the top rope. And now Master tagging in Sears. And a running knee strike by COD. And now COD tagging in Allen. And now Allen, multiple kicks right to the chest. Oh man, look at that cave in right onto the concrete. Then the rake of the eyes. Woo! What a move by Sears. I honestly can't wait till the stream's over because I didn't shave my, I didn't shave at all in November so I'm like anxious to freaking shave right after this cuz my beard is getting itchy <laughs> oh yeah the book of the dead he wanted to take Alan's soul And a jawbreaker dropping Allen. Oh, he's going for that terror slam. But Allen saw it coming. He knows how that move feels. And what a bomb right there. Gets the hot tag in COD. And then walks right into a hip toss. Then the reverse choke slam connects. This is the end of COD right here.
Nice counter by COD. An even better counter by Mass Terror. Hits him with the headbutt. And now he's got him up. And down with the Terror Slam. And looking right at Allen when he's pinning him. But Allen right there to break up the pinfall. And now looking for the reverse choke slam. And he connects. And the strength of COD right there. Hits him with the knee, then a German suplex. Woo, that was close. Got our first ref bump of the night. Allen looking to pin the television champ. He wants to get another shot at that television title. And now Allen with the arm drag takedown from the top rope. And now tags in COD. Hits him with a trip, follows that up with an elbow. Beautiful drop kick by Sears. Oh, and gets him with that splash right before he could get up. I believe Sears is the one that can turn into metal. He turns into Colossus. Because I think he did it during the Rumble last Friday. But it wasn't enough because Johnny Black was the one that eliminated him. And another ref bump. Although Sears better turn into the Colossus if he wants to take on Allen. There's the Book of the Dead right there. Let's see if one of them could pick it up. Oh, smartly rolls them back into the ring. Not like that first tag team match from earlier, that women's tag match, where they just kept tossing each other around the freaking concrete and everything. I want to see one of them use the Book of the Dead. That's going to be hilarious. See what I mean right there? He was aiming for the ring, but that steel freaking steps are like magnets. He was going towards the ring, and then he turned to the right at the last second. Watch, let's see if it happens again. Just 
gonna keep tossing each other into the freaking steel. Allen must have pulled something right there. Because he was in pain when he landed. And now that big headbutt. Into the steel post. And now toss him in, Allen. Toss him in. No, nope, wants to do more damage. And there it is, finally. I mean, if I was Allen, I would have pinned him right there. Nice counter by Sears into a drop kick. The game almost froze for a second there. Beautiful move right there. Is that going to be it? And COD right there to break up the pinfall. COD tags himself in, and there it is. Turn into the Colossus. Oh, oh, that might have hurt freaking COD's head right there. Freaking steel right to the softest part of your head. the agility of Sears. What a combination. And COD brings him right back in. COD rolls to the outside. Can Sears get him back into the ring? Or COD will do it. And what a combo by COD. Goes straight for the pin. Ooh, that was close. Mass Terror broke up the pinfall right just in time. And now COD looking for it again. This time further away from Mass Terror. Woo. And Mass Terror showing off his speed right there. Is that going to be it? And Allen showing off his speed. And now 
Scott finally tags in Mass Terror. Hits him with the elbow, right to the spine. Gets him right back into the ring. Thank God. And look at this hanging neck breaker from the top rope. The, the terror bomb right there and now setting him up for the terror slam he's got him up and down he really didn't have to pull him away he was nowhere near the ropes and COD kicked out Some with the clothesline in the corner. Then connects with Snake Eyes. And follows that up with a big boot. Then a leg drop. European uppercut by COD. Oh, then that front slam. The crowd does not like both of these teams at all. But this has been a great tag match. And going for the Terror Slam, but COD saw it come in. And he was going for it again. Beautiful counter by Mass Terror. And now the Terror Bomb. And now going for the reverse terror slam. And connects. Sears looking to finish off COD. Hits him with the kick. High knee lift. Another kick. And the trip up. And Allen breaking it up. <laughs> he just uppercuts him. Amazing. Oh, nice kick. Now tags Mass Terror back into the ring. Hits him with the back suplex. And he was going for that Terror Slam again. Oh, but then runs right into a knife edge chop. It's 
been a back and forth contest right here. Hits him with a running knee. Follows that up with a leg drop. Thought he was going to make a tag for a second there. Hits him with a clothesline instead. Him with the backbreaker, follows that up with a Russian leg sweep. Oh, nice elbow! The mass terror showing off his strength. These two just going at it back and forth. And that's it. Got him in the mandible claw or the terror claw and mass terror and Sears get the win. But I call BS on that one because because COD's head was under the ropes. So it should have been a rope break. But because of that, next Friday, Mass Terror, one-on-one -on -one with COD. And here are your winners, Sears and the television champion, Mask Terror. There we go, we got Khan, who was on fire as a tag team with Wildcat, but ended up losing in their tag team title match a couple weeks ago. Looking to make a run as a singles competitor now. And his first task is Tupa Man. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from parts unknown. This is Khan.
and his opponent from Belfast, Ireland, Tubaman. Walk for miles inside this pit of danger. Right, I walk alone. It's me, it's me, it's good old Mr. T. <laughs> I love that. We have hit the two hour mark, and this is the sixth match of the night. Superman looking to get back at the in the title picture, whether it's the television title, the US title, the world title. He wants some gold around his waist. And right off the bat, Khan with the hip toss. And Khan using his speed right there. Big elbow by Superman. Superman with the Irish whip. Big elbow by Khan and Khan multiple kicks right to the chest. And Khan barely phasing, or Tuberman barely phasing from that clothesline. And now hanging him up, hanging him up from the middle or top turnbuckle. Hits him with the DDT. And now Tuberman with a backbreaker. And now Tuberman taking a page out of Road Dog's book. Hits him with the shimmy and then the right hook. Big right hand by Khan. Superman returning the favor, then connects with a super kick. Superman with the basement drop kick. Oh, Khan with the right hand. And now Tuberman with the DDT onto the concrete. Superman busting open Khan right there. Then follows that up with a tornado DDT. One. 
And now Tuberman going for that tuber kick. Super tuber kick. And connects. And Khan kicks out. There's the Tuberman punch. One, two, and Khan kicks out. Superman doing whatever it takes to win. Bringing out the sledgehammer. Oh, missing with both of them missing, and then runs right into a sledgehammer shot. That was Superman's mistake right there. Should have just did something instead of just standing there. And now hits him with the Samoan drop. Kick right to the gut. Or stomp right into the gut. Then the tuber man punch again. And tuber man. Huge win right there. Big win right there for Superman. Sending a message to all the champions. The TV champ, the US champ, and the world champ. Superman is coming. And here is your winner, Tuberman. Ba 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 Just in time. We saw Velvet defeat. Brooke's sister, Crystal. Let's see if Brooke could get some payback for her sister. Or let's see if Foxy could get another win and take down the tag team champs. It'd be both tag team champs losing in the same night. Champion versus champion. I got this easy peasy. You gotta ask the Magic 8-Ball. 
He only knows. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, she is one half of the Chaos Women Tag Team Champs, Brooke Danger. And her opponent from New York, she is the LCW Women's United States Champion, representing the Foxy Fruit Loops, Foxy. Gotta love the hat. She's so hot. <laughs> and we are underway. They lock up middle of the ring. Brooke with the headlock. Foxy with the Irish whip. Into a big boot or a knee, whatever the hell that was. Follows that up with multiple headbutts. Foxy coming off a win against Maria. Well, her and Velvet coming off a win against Maria. And Brooke with the sling blade. Maria not in action. We don't even know where she's at. Oh, missing with the Insiguri. Foxy with the knife edge chop. And now follows that up with the baseman drop kick. Then the European Africa dropping Brook. Oh, then a European uppercut of her own. Follows that up with the Poison Rana. And now looking to try to break the arm of Foxy. And now she's got her up in the shoulders and connects with Snake Eyes. Northern Lights suplex into a pin. Oh, then a kick from out of nowhere. And now Foxy, very mad, connecting with more headbutts. Goes with a quick pin. Look at her wrenching on the neck. Then a kick right to the ribs. Foxy is not playing around here. Into the neck breaker. Oof. Man, just watching that, it hurts my neck. And Brooke kicks out. Oh, and beautiful trip up by Brooke. I think Foxy was looking for that wheelbarrow DDT. And she runs right into a knee. And Foxy kicks out. 
I believe that was Brooks' finisher right there, that running knee strike. And a fisherman buster. And now Brooke with a pump handle slam into a right hook. And a beautiful trip up by Foxy. <laughs> and walks right into a headbutt. Gotta love the headbutts. But you gotta hate the refs. Like, there was no reason for him to run around like that. I think he was just trying to check out Foxy's butt. <laughs> European uppercut. Statmare takedown. And there's the butt that the ref was checking out earlier. <laughs> She's using it as a weapon. Buns of steel. And now the Northern Light suplex onto the concrete. And now going for that neck breaker again. And connects. My God. That's got to be it. One. Two. I have no clue how she's kicking out. But one wheelbarrow DDT and that's it. Foxy setting her up. Oh, she's going for the get off my lawn submission. Get off her lawn, Brooke. Foxy making Brooke tap out. Get off Foxy's lawn. You know what? Hmm. I just got a good idea. Since both Velvet and Foxy pinned both tag team champs next Friday, tell Velvet this, Foxy. You and Velvet versus Brooke and Crystal for the women tag team titles what do you think of that you could be foxy two belts by next week Here we go, we finally made it to the co-main event. Almost three hours later. Man, this show should have ended a long time ago, but because of that second match of the damn night, that literally took an hour long. We're barely coming to the end over here. The audacity of that tag team match. So we got the J Dog going up against Big Amish, the champ. J Dog's gonna have his tag team partner, the man who won the Rumble last Friday, and will face. Either Big Amish or may jump ship to Mayhem and challenge the Mayhem World Champ. It 
so you, we won't know until when he makes his decision probably the week the the month before local mania we'll know who he picked There he is, the man who won the Rumble and will face either the Chaos World Champ or the Mayhem World Champ. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring representing Doom being accompanied by the local Rumble winner, Johnny Black, j Dog. And his opponent, he is the Chaos World Champion, the Big Amish. Big Amish, who will be defending his world title next year, because I believe the pay-per-view, the week of the pay-per-view, is going to be on Christmas, I think. I, I, I have to look at my calendar. But the week of Christmas... I'm going to be taking a break until next year. So like a two week break from LCW at least. I'll probably still stream like Fortnite or something. There we go. Big Amish J-Dog with Johnny Black watching in the corner of J-Dog. And uh, Snake Eyes connects, missing with the overhand right.
And now Big Amish has him in the Amish lock. And Big Amish pur purposely didn't put any deodorant, so those armpits are stanky. And there's the Amish bomb. <laughs> oh, man. Message sent to Johnny Black right there, who was watching. Made quick work of his tag team partner. My God. Big Amish just destroyed J Dog. Honestly, honestly, I think it was the armpits, though. Those armpits must have been stanky. And then he hits the Amish bomb and that was it. And again, under the ropes, but who cares? These refs are blind. But here's your winner. I was about to say j Dog, Big Amish. And now we could go on to the main event and possibly end the show under three hours. The rematch from last Friday. Friday's pay-per-view between Colleen Masters and Platinum, the new champ. Can Colleen take back her baby, the women's world title? Or will Platinum hang on to it? Here we go, main event time. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it is for the Chaos Women's Championship. Making her way to the ring first, she is the challenger from England, Colleen Masters. And her opponent, she is the new Chaos Women's Champion, Platinum.
Platinum winning that women's world title. It's been a while since she's held that title. I believe the last time she's held it was at was in season two of LCW. So it was long overdue. Introducing the challenger from England, Colleen Masters. And the reigning, defending Chaos Women's Champion, Palatna. And the main event is underway. Colleen with a nice headlock takedown. Got some mat wrestling here and a beautiful knee strike. Colleen looking to take back what's hers. And looking to break the arm of Platinum. Northern Lights suplex by Colleen. In runs right into a Integuri. Spinning kick, Colleen all over the champion right now. Colleen just dominating right now, tossing her back into the ring. Colleen looking to make quick work of, of Platinum right here. And there it is, the head scissors takedown, which leads to the AMK. That was really close. Maybe one AMK might freaking finish off Platinum here. Hits her with a drop kick. Colleen knows how long this show's been. She wants to she wants to end this quickly. But Platinum's like, nope. Not if I have anything to do with it. Magic eight ball. Will Colleen take back her Chaos Women's title right now? Look deep into your heart. You will see the answer. Okay. <laughs> Colleen setting her up for the Fisherman Buster. 
Platinum gets right back up though. Snapmare takedown. Drop kick to the back of the head. This is for the Chaos Women's title. Multiple less than the bitch slap. Answer this, Magic 8-Ball. Will Platinum retain her Chaos Women's title? Nah. <laughs> well, looks like we're going to have a new women's champion right here. But the Magic 8-Ball could be wrong, though. He has been wrong. Well, he's only been wrong once. Could he be wrong on this match, too? Gets her right back into the ring. Very smart by Platinum. Possibly setting her up for the Platinum hit. Here it comes. The Platinum hit. And Colleen kicks out, even though her arm was under the ropes again. Right. And now Colleen fighting back. I believe she still has her AMK. Oh, nice judo flip. Oh man, both of them thinking the same thing. Colleen tossing her back into the ring. And Colleen with the stun gun. And the Insiguri. And the running single leg drop kick. Man, it looked like it was gonna be Colleen ending this early. But Platinum making a comeback right here. Hits her with the Platinum. The Platinum Maker. And tosses her back into the ring. Can Platinum finish her off right here? Setting her up for the Platinum hit. Oh, what's this? Woo! The Platinum Bomb. One. Two. Colin kicks out. This has been a great match so far. And now Platinum with the Buster. Fisherman Buster. Colleen kicks out again. And now bouncing her head off the mat. into the perfect 10. And Colleen still kicks out. Magic 8-Ball, are you wrong about your answer from before? <laughs> I might actually be yes. <laughs> Oh, 
Kowleen with the Northern Knights suplex. And a back suplex. Inseguri connects. Can Colleen get her back into the ring? Hits her with another Northern Lights suplex. Colleen trying to get the crowd behind her. Oh, hits her with a bitch slap, tossing her back in. And Colleen barely connecting. And now setting her up. For the AMK. But didn't go for the pin. That might have been a mistake there. Unless she's setting her up for the big one. And she might be just doing that. The other AMK. And she's not done just yet. Oh my god. Hits up with the clothesline. And another one. Ducks under. Tilt the world backbreaker. And now the head scissors take down. Is she going to finish her off with that one? And Platinum still kicks out. And the AMK from out of nowhere. Oh, she was going to go for the pin, but Platinum gets right back up. Hits her with a back body drop. been a great title match right here and there it is head scissors takedown do we have a new champ and we do Colleen takes back her women's world title in a hell of a matchup and I'm gonna make this match official for the pay-per-view the third the rubber match between these two Colleen defending her title against Platinum in like in the next pay-per-view that's gonna be a great match if it's anything like this one it's gonna be probably even better because this one topped their match at the last pay-per-view here is your winner and new chaos women's champion co lean masters she's the goat the LCW OG But there you have it. That's the main event. I'm going to end the show right there. Thank you guys for watching. Um, Monday, Mayhem, a rematch between myself and Baron Blade. Can't wait for that one. Um, Ray Wolf will be in action again. Anthony Walker will be in action. Just a whole lot of action for Monday. Over the weekend, I'll probably stream some more Fortnite or Paladins. So tune in for that, and I'll see you guys then. Local, out.